came in here on purpose trying to start trouble so that I could get views on YouTube. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say shit, bro. I was just gonna I was just gonna let you rage, man. <sighs> man, I needed that fish. Woo! Definitely lift my spirits a little bit, man. Can I ask you a question? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Are you the best in the That's me. <laughs> I don't want no trouble, dude. <laughs> What is up everybody? Welcome to the video. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are headed back to the infamous Kyle's Marina where the number one most viewed video on my entire channel was shot. The Kyle video has officially surpassed 1 million views. It's officially the most viewed video on my channel. And in this video I'm going to go back to that marina and I'm going to fish it. And while I'm there fishing a couple people are actually going to roll up who recognize me and we're gonna have some interactions down there on the water once again. Also, I'm just gonna be totally upfront with you guys. This was a tough day of fishing for me. I cut out a lot, and I mean a lot of footage. The time that passed between the moment that you see me catch the first little fish in this video to where we catch the last couple fish in this video was like eight plus hours. I just refused to quit, never give up, as Mike Iaconelli would say. It was a tough day of fishing for me, my head was elsewhere. There was some things popping up and happening that had me a bit distracted out there on the water. And that may or may not have affected my ability to catch fish on this trip. But towards the end of the day, we're going to turn it all around. I'm going to pick up the big bait and we're going to get redemption because I don't go down without a fight. So without further ado, let's go ahead, head out onto the water. You guys bear with me, stick with me through an actual day of fishing where we sometimes struggle out there on the water before we finally are able to catch them. Let's go. Start the day off with a guad. No surprise there. Yesterday the guads are out eating like crazy. This is a little dude. I feel like I feel like the fish that hit it first was much bigger. There's two two little blow-ups there and ended up with this little guy. That old boy was hooked. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my gosh. I need a deeper diver. Where am I at? Got you right here. They're running up, but I can't quite get down there far enough with the C10. So I'm going to grab the C25. I can run it a little slower. They're on it. They're on it. They're chasing it. There's 10 fish following this crankbait. Come on, smoke it. The big ones just stayed down there. They're in a brush pile. They don't want the big crank. I'm going to retie that anyway. It's all beat up now. We're about to get rolly. Ha! Ah! 
Ho! Ho! Got one little dink in the boat. I'm sitting here messing with these ones that I can see on the scope. They're right in front of the boat. They were reacting to the crankbait, but couldn't get any of them to hit it. Ah, oh, I just love the wind. I love the wind on the lake. Feels good, man. Feels nice. It's been so stagnant and hot here lately with the exception of yesterday, which I fished in the absolute pouring rain. It's getting pretty gnarly, dudes. Pretty gnarly. You guys have probably seen that video already. It was, that was fun. Had them fired up on the top water. That's a tank right there. Right over there off that point. Went right over that joker's head. He didn't even move. It's tough, boss. It's tough. This new ESP79 medium with the Shimano SLX DC70. Oh my God, this thing is a supreme medium to kind of deepish diving crankbait setup right here. This thing is money for flinging the, the 10 to 15 foot range, these cranks. Just gotta find a fish. I wanna catch a fish on it. It's been tough with the cranks lately, dudes. I'm trying. I'm trying for you guys. Caught one yesterday with this thing throwing a little tiny finesse swim bait while I was sitting in the slip waiting for the rain to kick off. Ooh, just felt one. Oh, I just had one bust it. I just had one bust it. He's going back down. I can see him on the scope. All right, there's one right out there off the point. Came up and popped it. Let's see if he'll hit it again. Right out there off of this point. They are stacked up. Let's go. Come on. Come on, one of y'all eat this freaking crankbait before I freaking get mad. And they just watched it go by. Uh, that's how you know they ain't gonna eat it. <laughs> I'm also not set up ideally. Should be throwing towards the point, coming back out towards open water. That, that might change things up a little bit. There's some bigs out there in 35 feet, 40 feet, just sitting there. This crank ain't getting down to 40 feet, I can tell you that. Blank. Blank. Stack them, stack them. They're following it. They're following it. Come on. Smoke it. Let's see if we can just get another one in the boat. We've, we've killed an hour trying to scope these fish. So. Not for me, they're not. All right, we are here at the infamous Kyle's Marina. Just caught a little guad off camera. Back up and running now, throwing the squim jig. Let's get back after it. Tough out here today. That's what we came out here for. That's why I fished this whole marina. Fished every slip, nothing but one little guad. Got here to the very end. They're schooled up under this one slip. Nice. On the Devon smoke. Awesome. Shout out to Kyle. Still here. It's been a while since I've come back. I've, I've been letting them breathe, you know? I didn't want to just come right back and look like I was trying to start drama. One thing I want to address, man, a lot of people in the comments of that video said that I came in here on purpose trying to start trouble so that I could get views on YouTube. If, if you think that, you obviously don't know me, don't know who I am or what I'm about. I just want to fish and be left alone. I do not want to get into negative interactions with people. It's not fun to me. I don't like it, so just want to address that right now. I came back in here to try to catch fish. They're in here. That's why I'm in here, because the fish are in here and biting. Spend a lot of my time and a lot of my money and my effort trying to locate fish and find fish. Something that you may not know if you don't fish all the time. 
90% of the fish are in 10% of the water. So when you find them loaded up somewhere around one marina and one boat slip and they're eating, you're gonna stay there and fish for them, especially when uh, you've invested as much as I have in doing this. So let's see if we can get us another one. But drama free is the way to be. And that's how I prefer to keep it. I, I, I would like nothing more than for nobody to come down here and talk to me while I'm doing this. Just let me fish. That's what I'm trying to do. Skipped up under this boat right here. Several of them chased it out. And then I threw it back up in there immediately. Boom, got bit. Yeah, no way would I go somewhere to intentionally get into some drama and try to start trouble. No way. No way. What's up, Jason? Hey, brother. <laughs> I wasn't going to say shit, bro. I was just going to I was just going to let you rage, man. What is going on, partner? I'm good, brother. How about yourself? But they're loaded up under there right now. I just cracked the tank right there. Fished everything. Caught one guad. Nothing, 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 nothing. Under this one, though. They're in there. Swim jig by the marina. I got to do it. I haven't been back since all that went down. Because I just, I just want to let them breathe, man. I, a lot of people saying I, I'm trying to start drama on purpose. And that ain't, that ain't me. That, a lot of people. Like, you just did that for... I'm like, man, you obviously don't, you obviously don't know me. Because I would much rather not... No, I get into it with anybody. Right, yeah. But uh, it's the internet. I, I wanted to, but I, and I wish I, I could have done better and I will do better next time. But yeah, man, uh, after the third time, once that, once that kid said, uh, I'm not going to say it again. I don't know what, it, it flipped the switch, man, because that's what my mom used to say to me. Oh, really? And I'm like, dude, you're, you're like some 17-year-old kid down here talking. You're not my mom. Yeah, you're not my mama, bro. So that, that's where I, I started getting a little hot, man. But I got nothing but love and it's all good, but... Man, they're up under there if you want to try to catch one. That was funny, man. You, we, <laughs> you had me for about half a second. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, I'm not saying nothing. I, I thought for a second in my head, I was like, man, they done hired a joker with a boat to come out here and try to run me off now. This is getting serious. I just want to catch some fish. You know me. Yeah, there, there were three that followed it out, and there were two smaller ones. And then all of a sudden, boom, he just freaking freight trained it. He smugwalked it, yeah. What's going on, boss? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Me? Yeah. yeah. Are you the guy from the video? That's me. <laughs> I don't want no trouble, dude. <laughs> I thought calls that I was on your side. <laughs> I, I, that means a lot to me, man. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I got nothing but love. So whoever you talk to, nothing but love, man. Uh, good luck, man. Thank you, brother. And that's how I like it to go down. Got the best one out of there, so I'm probably gonna get here pretty quick, man, before they all start showing up. Hey, have a good day. Be safe out there, brother. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> that's my friend Jason. He is a sheriff here in my county. Rolled up on me, he said, Excuse me, sir, you can't be fishing in the slips. He had me going for half a second. I was like, oh, no. They got a boater patrol, but nah. He just wanted to come say what's up. It's my brother from another. Shout out to you, Jason, if you're watching, man. I appreciate everything you do. Much love. He's about to retire, though. About to be living a good life.
finally a fish. <sighs> I missed one earlier. And it about drove me insane. This one's got something down his throat too. Looks like maybe a, I don't know if that's a soft plastic or just a piece of debris from the water. But I finally got one on a swim bait. Look where he was sitting. Up in that little pocket. His teeth are so sharp from not eating all summer. He's a little skinny, but he's he's starting to bulk up. Gosh, I needed this fish, guys. It's been such a struggle. I missed one back there in the shade at the pretty spot. Had my drag too loose, slipped on me just a little bit, and he came off. Man, I needed that fish. Nothing major, but gosh. Whoo! Definitely lift my spirits a little bit, man. Having a tough day here. Some stuff going on. Some of you guys probably know about it. I'm not even going to address it, but uh, I needed that fish, man. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Let me get you unhooked. <sighs> really needed that fish, guys. Feels good, man. Feels good. Thank you, Lord. I'm struggling. But that's fish number four. Would have been number five, but I had one shake loose on me because my drag slipped. Gosh, his teeth are so sharp, guys. Razor blades. You ready, little buddy? Check it out. I threw over there a couple different times. And then only when I got past it could I see that that little cut went off behind these boulders. And I tossed off in there. And he was sitting back there. Came up and roasted it. After the day I'm having, I needed that fish, man. Heaters only. You know the deal. The heater originator. Original heaters. Man, swim bait fish are just, they're just more fun. I don't know what it is about catching them on a bigger bait. But it's just fun, man. Whew. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Just keep grinding. I've just refused to go home. The fish aren't really biting today, guys. Uh, I've thrown everything. You see, I got 36 rods on deck. I've got no kind of a pattern dialed in, nothing. Thrown everything I have at them. Fish are not eating. Just finding a bite here and there by grinding it out and not giving up. Shout out to Mike Iconelli. <sighs> never give up. I'm trying to never give up out here. That's a big tree right there. Just grind them to the boat. That's what you got to do when they get on the swim bait, man. I make the mistake of letting them play a little bit too much sometimes. Just freaking reel and peel their butts to the boat. That's what you got to do.
wolf pack. There's another one on the swim bait, baby. He had friends with him. Look at that. Awesome. There were two fish at least chasing this one out. That's what's up. When they wouldn't hit anything else, broke out the swim bait and just started grinding. Boom, another one. They were sitting over there behind this boulder. Hit it quick too. That's a healthy fish right there. Nice. All right, and there that was, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. There weren't too many fish catches in this one, but I wanted to share this day with you just to show you those interesting interactions that we had when we went back to Kyle's Marina. We were able to pull a nice fish out from under uh, that one slip. There was a wolf pack under there, but I could only get that one to eat. Luckily, it was the right one. The other fish that I was seeing were a little bit smaller, so right there I got lucky and caught the biggest one of the bunch. I'll take it. And then there towards the end of the trip, you saw me pick up that new Trace swim bait from Six Sense Fishing and crack a couple after an entire day of grinding. And let me tell you, when you've been fishing for like eight hours, hardly catching anything, and then all of a sudden pick up a big bait, smash a few like that, that felt good. Missed one and uh, just started feeling like it just wasn't meant to be that day. And I had the thought of giving up multiple times during that trip, but I just kept throwing and then eventually was able to catch a couple decent fish there at the end and it saved my day. Yeah. Good times, man. If you guys haven't seen the past couple videos, go check them out. There's been some big news that we've dropped lately on you guys. The biggest being the heater series. My own line of fishing rods that I've been working with Sixth Sense to develop. Those are coming soon. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. I have a feeling, judging by the response that I've got from all of you guys out there, that they are going to go quick when they finally go on sale. I also wanna just take a moment to thank you guys for all the love and support you show me. I have some amazing people riding with me through thick and thin through adversity, through the BS that exists in this fishing community. It drives me absolutely nuts. But one thing that hasn't changed is you guys, you're always there riding with me, lifting me up, and uh, you've always got my back. So thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your day to watch the vids, for subscribing to the channel. We're well on our way to 35,000, and I feel like we'll be coloring in that next bar on the subscriber board really soon. You guys, keep your eyes peeled for the new Six Sense Trace swim bait. That's the big bait that you saw me out there throwing that I was finally able to put a couple in the boat on. I love throwing the swim bait and that trace is amazing. That was actually one that I custom painted here in the garage. It feels cool to catch fish on that big bait. And just despite everything that was going on behind the scenes, I mentioned a little bit of it out there on the water. Some of you guys know I don't like to really shine too bright of a spotlight on the BS that exists in this fishing community. I just like to keep it positive and uplifting over here. But man, I feel like I've been being tested lately. And uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't even know if I would be doing this, but you guys are amazing and you continue to ride with me. It means the absolute world to me. I can't thank you all enough for, uh, for riding with me. So thank you, much love. I appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one. We don't go down without a fight. Never give up.